fight. We must kung fu fight. They're gonna attack. Guy's gonna bust out his harm too. Beej will bust out his fire too. He'll plink Keo. Alright. Oh, okay. That was a nice shot. Oh, and a crit from Fucked? And a crit from Keo. Alright. I think that first round went about as well as it possibly could have. Alright, yeah. Let's see. He wasn't gonna keep doing that, but... And Guy takes him out! You see that? <laughs> oh my god! Okay. We just walked in. We just walked into Lich's house. Turn the Earth Orb back on. Let's have a look at that. See that orb up there in the corner? That's the Earth Orb. We just got it turned back on because we... There's no other way to say it. We whomped on him. We came in here. We took it to the hole. And we dominated. And now we're back out of the Earth Cave. And holy shit. Okay. Alright. I did not expect to, um, to actually be that successful. I'm gonna say that right now. So, I'm feeling cocky. We're taking these fuckers out. I'm not playing... I'm not playing around. Let's take him down. I mean, we just took out Lich with minimal effort required. I, I, I don't even know how it happened. I don't even know how it was possible. But we... We were heroes. We, we were the champions. I, I'm very happy right now. I don't know why everything is just falling into place so easily for me. But it is. This is a great day. This is such a great day. You got no idea what I'm feeling right now. Thank you for being a part of this with me. Oh my god. And now we get ambushed by tigers. I only got one random encounter table, and by god, I'm gonna use it. Okay, so you're swimming along, and... Tiger! I don't like those tigers. They were starting to beat the shit out of Beej. Beej, who, along with Guy, were instrumental in our defeat of Lich. Actually, I guess everyone was, because... Keo and, and Fox both crit him in the goddamn first round. That was some impressive shit. Where am I even going? I don't even think... There's nothing I got to buy here yet, because... Because I don't uh, have enough money for any of the spells in this town. And... None of that stuff is what I want. And nothing in the weapon shop is what I want. I guess we'll, uh, we'll save at the end here. We're not leaving the game, so we're not going to hold reset when we turn the power off. Because we're not turning the power off. What we are going to do... ...is go west, young man. Make our way around... ...the Earth Cave Peninsula. Close call. I like how every time you run into close call, like, oh my god, those Sahogs were only 400 rounds away from killing everybody. Oh, we got an ambush on a shark? You damn Skippy were taking it down. Okay. Alright, go fucked. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna push B-select. 
Let's take a look at the world map here, see where I am. Alright, there I am. So I'm going to need to go south a little. Away from some more Sahags. Because the one thing I will say is... I've died times trying to get to Crescent Lake than I ever have in, uh, in Fighting Lich. I don't want to deal with that right now. I'm, I'm happy. I'm confident and I'm happy. I'm gonna run away. Walk all the way around this fucking crescent lake. The only time we're ever gonna do that. Peds. Man, those things are nasty looking fuckers. Alright, so here we are at Crescent Lake. The least populated town in the known world. Uh, went the wrong way. Here we go, here we go. So we got one person here. Light Warriors, you can do it! And we got one other person over here. Who's asleep. And that is the extent of the population of Crescent Lake, basically. So what we got here? We got... We can buy a silver sword for Keo. But honestly, it's not really worth it for the increase that it gives over the rune sword. Now for armor... I... Uh, okay, well... Actually, anyone can use a buckler. So, it's a good idea to go ahead and buy bucklers for everyone, since I can afford that. Well, everyone but Keo, because he's already got better stuff than a buckler. Oh, I was wrong. Um, so it turns out they can't use bucklers, so we just wasted a little bit of money there. I'm sorry, I thought everyone could use a buckler. Sell this extra iron helmet. Sell off his old wooden armor. Alright, well, so I just wasted 2,500 gold there. But I can still buy a silver shield for Keo. Well, he can't actually hold it, so I gotta give it to Fucked. And then trade it. Let's make sure this is actually better. So, 38 absorb. I'm gonna be mad if it's not. 42 absorb. Okay, good. After buying those bucklers, I, uh. I'm gonna admit I was a little bit concerned. But hopefully, anything that costs 2,500 gold is better than something that costs 100 gold. Or however much the iron shield cost. I think it was 100. I looked at the screen, but I couldn't tell you anymore. And we got magic here in Crescent Lake, which means I need to explain it to you. So white magic, um, now don't panic, it's not 620,000 gold, they just ran out of spaces to put. And I guess I didn't explain the level 5 magic yet, but that's only because I don't have any spell slots for it. And I guess I don't have any spell slots for level 6 either, but, um, basically level 6 white magic, the only things I'm going to be buying are exit and in two, um, which exit, of course, lets you exit the place that you are in. I'll let that sit for a second. Yeah. Lets you exit the place that you are in, so if you're in, say, a building, and you cast exit, you will be outside of that building. That's exit. Soft, uh, cures soft, which... Uh, at the cost of 20,000 gold, I'm not going to be buying. Not when, um, basically, you saw Beej get turned to stone a little bit ago. 
I've been playing this game for 20 years. Um, basically, people only get turned to stone maybe five times in a playthrough. So you're really just better off buying a few soft potions and keeping them around. Fog 2 is an upgraded version of Fog, which makes it so you take less damage. It ups your absorb. I don't ever use it. And Inv 2 is just like Invs, um, which is like invisible. Um, because, you know, it's like Ruse, but it's half as effective because you can cast it on anybody. And in 2 works on everybody at once. It's the... You know, it's like it, it does it for everybody. Now, Black Magic level 6. You got some good stuff. You got Lit 3, which is, of course, the third Lit spell. Uh, Fire 3 is a level 5 spell. Ice 3 is a level 7 spell. So Lit 3 is kind of in the middle there. It's effective. It's fun. It's expensive. We're not buying it yet. Uh, rub, of course, we saw at Astos what happens when you use Rub. It kills somebody. It erases them. It is the bale fire of the Final Fantasy world. Except that you can bring someone back to life from it. Uh, Quake. Cake. Let me... Cake. Quake, yeah, um, it tries to kill people with Earth. Oh, I should show you it. Yeah, Quake. Stun is a uh, derivative of Power Word Stun from Dungeons and Dragons. Um, un on character, on enemies with it, uh, hit points under a certain threshold, it automatically stuns them, and it will not work on anyone with hit points over that threshold. It's kind of high level for what it does, but, like I said, it's based on a D&D &D spell, so it kind of had to be, because that spell's high level too, because it, you know, it doesn't really give you a save. Now, we're wandering over here because, in actual fact, there are other denizens of Crescent Lake. It's these fuckers, the Circle of Sages, so we're going to talk to them. And they were hit led here by the stars and prophecy. We're getting some exposition here, basically. Once the orbs shined with the power of earth, wind, fire, and water, the four fiends seized those powers. We've already broken up Lich, the fiend of Earth's uh, grasp on that. But hey, the world is bound by the four powers. And if you crush the fiend at each altar, then you can place the orb on the altar to make it shine again. Uh, the fiends are bent on the world's destruction. Uh, 200 years ago, the fiend of wind teamed with the fiend of war to destroy civilization. I, I think these people seem pretty civilized, but hey. Earth fiend causes the rot of our land. Well, not anymore. The fire fiend will burn everything up! Holy shit! As you restore the orbs, we will reveal more secrets, so please see us repeatedly. And only we can make the orbs shine again. This sage is basically like the random townsfolk of sages. Now, hurry, we must hurry to Gurgu Volcano and stop the Fiend of Fire before all is burnt. Aha! Now, they congratulate us for vanquishing the Earth Fiend and the Fire Fiend awakes. So, with the canoe, we can go to the volcano. And Lucan here, who we were told about it back in Canaria, uh, has joined the Circle of Sages, and their path has been decided. So hey, congratulations! I'm glad your path was decided for you. All right, let's uh, leave the Circle of Sages for now. Come back around down here, and go to the Crescent Lake Item Shop for a brief moment, because what we must do now is buy a few cabins. There we go. 